Welcome back to Lightning GIS. This is Toby Dogweiler. Today we're going to be talking about using the aggregate tool in ArcGIS to change the resolution of a raster. So let's get started. So what is a raster? Well, there's a whole other Lightning GIS video that I'll put a link to in the show notes that gives you an overview of a raster, what they are, when to use them, what their benefits are. But for this um, video, we're just going to suffice to say that a raster is any data set that's continuous in both the X and Y dimension and divided into individual cells where each cell has a value. In a photograph, the value would be um, an RGB value related to a color. In a DEM, a digital elevation model, the value would be the elevation of that portion of the landscape that's represented by the cell in the raster. So then, because rasters have cells, the cells have a size, and that size is usually the same in height and width. So if we had a one meter resolution raster, that means the height of each cell is one meter, and the width is one meter, and that would represent a one meter by one meter or one square meter area of the landscape if it's an aerial photo. So that means each pixel, each cell in the raster is a one meter by one meter pixel. Um, out in the real world. Um, higher resolution rasters have a lot more cells. More cells means more data, which means larger files. But because they're higher resolution, you can also zoom in without losing, um, zoom in to see greater detail. A lower resolution raster has fewer cells. Each cell is going to be bigger in terms of its height and width dimension. That means that it takes up less space, it's a little faster on your computer, but when you zoom in you're going to lose detail because the detail is just not there. Alright, so what the aggregate tool does for you is it allows you to increase the size of raster cells. So you see here on the left we have a series of four cells. Each cell would have a height and a width. Let's say that this is a two meter resolution um, raster, which means that each of these cells is two meters by two meters, two meters wide by two meters high. Now what the aggregate tool is going to allow us to do is to reduce the resolution of the raster. So these four two by two meter pixels will be aggregated into one pixel which is now four meters by four meters. Okay, so it's a bigger, it's a bigger cell or a bigger pixel. That means that it's a lower or a reduced resolution. In the example below, we have this raster that's 16 cells wide on the left. If we look at this red square that represents a four raster area, or four cell area within our raster. Um, if we have that resolution to just eight cells by eight cells, this same red tri this same red rectangle over here now represents just one cell instead of four. So our resolution now is a quarter of what it used to be because we halved the size of the cells. What used to be two by two pixels is now one by one pixel which means it's one-fourth of the data that it used to be. And you can see how that affects. If this were a watershed, if the yellow area in this slide is a watershed boundary, you can see how by reducing or aggregating the resolution of the raster, we're going to lose data. The shape is no longer the same. It's a little more blocky. But it's going to be a smaller file size, which will be easier to work with, take less space in our computer, it'll run faster in GIS. So with that, let's go ahead and switch over to ArcMap and I'll demonstrate how to run the aggregate tool to reduce the size and the resolution of a, a DEM raster. Alright, here in ArcMap I've got a DEM layer already loaded. Um, I've labeled it DEM 4.5 centimeter resolution, but the way you can determine the resolution of your DEM is to right click on the layer in the table of contents, click on the properties, the layer properties dialog box will open, go to the source tab, and then under raster information you can find the cell size and the X and Y dimensions. Usually the X and Y dimensions are going to be equal, in this case my X 
in y dimensions are 0 0.0449 meters um, in each dimension, which is just a hair less than 4.5 centimeters. So we have a 4.5 centimeter DEM. All right, now our goal here today is to reduce the resolution of this DEM. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a factor of four, which will change our DEM from 4.5 centimeter resolution to 18 centimeters. 4.5 times four is 18 centimeters. We'll use the aggregate tool to do that. Uh, you could search for it here, type in aggregate in the ArcMap search, or you can go to Arc Toolbox and go to the Spatial Analyst Toolbox, the Generalization Group, and then the Aggregate Tool is there at the top. Um, when you double click on that, it'll open the window. Um, we want to use our 4.5 centimeter resolution DEM. Now, our changed, we're not going to change the original DEM, so we have to designate where we're going to save the new DEM that's going to be created. So I have a geodatabase here. I'm going to put it in there and we'll just call it DEM 18 centimeter resolution. Because I'm in the D in the in the Arc geodatabase I can't use spaces in the file name. So I've I've got something similar to the format over here that I'm using over here in the table of contents. So I'll save that. Now our cell factor, as we said, we're going to multiply each cell by 4, so I'm going to type 4 in, and that means we'll go 4.5 centimeters times 4 to get 18 centimeter resolution. Now the aggregation technique, which technique you're going to use will depend a little bit on what type of data set you're using. Since we have a DEM here, what we want to do is for all the cells in the four and a half centimeter that are included in the new 18 centimeter cell. We don't want to sum those, that would add all the cells. We just want to get the, the average or the mean value of all of those finer resolution DEM cells to come up with the average that will be used as a representation in the 18 centimeter cell. Now, other types of rasters, depending on what the type of data set is, you'll have to use your common sense to determine which technique to use. Over here in the, the tool help, you can see an explanation of the different choices. Um, I just leave these uh, other two boxes down here, expand, extent, and ignore no, ignore no data checked. We'll click OK. It's going to take a couple of minutes for um, this tool to run to do all the the uh, the aggregation and you can see down here in the lower right corner um, an indication that the aggregate tool is running so we'll let that run and then we'll look at the results all right the uh, aggregate tool has completed and also while I was uh, magically offline I also went ahead and created a hill shaded version of both the four and a half centimeter resolution DEM and a hill shaded version of the 18 centimeter DEM just to facilitate some comparison. So first let's zoom, as I said this is about a one and a half to two kilometer long reach of stream um, from north to south. So right now we're looking at the 18 centimeter resolution DEM if we turn that off and it redraws and we see the four and a half centimeter resolution. At this scale, zoomed out this far, we can't tell any difference. All right, now, if we zoom in and we compare the 18 to the four and a half centimeter resolution, you can see there's no visible difference here if we're just looking at the plain old DEM. What's a little more helpful is if we turn the DEMs off and we turn the hill shaded versions of the DEM on. Uh, let's just take a look here. This is the 18 centimeter resolution version. This is a vehicle parked um, along the stream. The stream's along the bottom of the street of the of the picture here. Um, if we turn the 18 centimeter off and we look, we've got a little more detail with the four and a half centimeter. Uh, if you look at the fine, it's just a little fuzzier here at 18 centimeters it's a little crisper out here at four and a half centimeters. So it does make a difference, but you can see here, we've, uh, by reducing our, our cell size, 
we lose a little bit, but let's compare the size of these uh, DEMs. So let's open up the layer properties for the four and a half centimeter resolution version. And we see that our DEM is 11.82 gigabytes in size. If we look at the layer properties for the 18 centimeter resolution DEM, we're down to just um, 0.75 gigabytes. So it's less than one tenth of the size. So it saves a lot of disk space and it draws a lot faster on the screen. Um, if I zoom back out here, I won't change the time on this. Right now it's drawing the 18 centimeter hill shade. You can see it just took a few seconds. If I turn that off and I draw the four and a half centimeter uh, hill shade, um, it's been a few seconds and ArcMap's still thinking. It hasn't even started to draw on the screen. And uh, because this file's so much bigger, my processor, I can hear my processor fan down here running really fast. It's sped up. Um, the computer is really working hard. And now it's just started to draw a little bit of this and you can see it's going to take probably another 40, 50, 60 seconds to draw that. I won't make you wait for that. I think uh, that's a good spot to end. I hope this helps you with the aggregate tool. Thank you.